is a Fire Max 11 tablet that I just received from Amazon Prime Day 2023. I have Fire Toolbox already installed, version 31, and I'm just going to use it to install Google Play, Play Store, and that's it. I could change some, make some small tweaks, but the main one is just to add Play Store onto it. Uh, so, with that being said, first thing I can do is I can go on to the tablet. You can see I've already checked the version. It's too new. So, if I go into settings and I scroll down to device options, there's no, uh, I need to enable, what's it called? Developer options. So I think first thing to enable developer options is I have to click on about Fire Tablet. Then I have to go over here where it says serial number and click on it a few times and you will see here in the center Maybe it's not that one, maybe it. So I clicked on it, but it wasn't showing at the bottom. On the bottom it said click a few times, and now it says I'm already a developer, which is great. I just went back to settings. I'm at the very bottom, and now there's developer options here right before, below about Firefox about Fire Tablet, click on developer options, and I'm just gonna, it's the very top option, and it's just to enable developer options. And then I think that's it. Besides, after enabling developer options here on the right, sorry about that, Scroll down to debugging and you want to turn on USB debugging. Click OK. So that's the pre-setup and now I can open Fire Toolbox, which I have ready over here. I'm going to click on that. At this point, I'm going to plug in my FireMax USB is over here. I'm going to plug it in. So I'm going to plug it in here. It mentions this. Allow USB debugging. So I'm going to click Always Allow. And over here, it mentioned some stuff, but now that pop-up is missing, and so I'm ready to go. And so what I want to do is go here to Google Services. And I just want to execute tool. This is taking some time. Hopefully it goes through. Most important part, installing Google Play Store. And it worked. 
and I'm gonna have toolbox reset it and you can see it just reset I could probably disconnect it let it reboot I'm gonna finally enter the Wi-Fi and see if Play Store starts. But anyways, I don't really need to start it. I can show you that Play Store is right here and when I, well, I might as well start it. I'm right here. And ask me to sign in. I don't have Wi-Fi enabled, so I need to go do that. So I'm gonna enable my Wi-Fi and I'm gonna sign in. So I need to go over here. Set up my Wi-Fi somehow. But I'm gonna set my Wi-Fi. I just do it in settings, internet, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi preferences. And I can connect from over here, select my internet, and it'll do the whole deal thing. So I just set up my Wi-Fi. I'm going to go back home, go to Play Store, go to Sign In. I'm going to have to log in. So let me log in with my info. It's taking a while. I wish I could remove the bloatware on this, but the I'm pretty sure the Fire OS is too new. I had to try again, try to sign in again. It finally got me over here. I'm gonna put in my account info. Let's see what happens. I'm at the welcome screen. That's great news. Let me continue. Get the account info. Nope, don't want to back up. Ta da! And I have Google Play Store on my. What's it called? <laughs> Fire Max 11. Just in case anyone was wondering, it's able to install it. You could do it the manual way of installing a few uh, package files, but I, instead all I did was I used the Fire Toolbox version 31. And here it is. I'll try installing Macarena. But anyways, it looks like it's working, so I'm happy. Don't have to rely on Amazon App Store.